Well, hello everybody. What's going on? What's poppin'? It's your boy, Isaac T. Bennett the Third. You're listening to The Impact Zone with Isaac T. Bennett the Third, episode 90. Yo, if you don't understand, let me say it like this. Episode 90 and we've made it, baby. <laughs> We're here. Let's enjoy the show. I got a lot of things to talk about. Are you able to change partners? Yo, you hear the Cupid Shuffle remix, Praise Break? Yo, <laughs> I had to start different. Yo, if you're tired of the same results, you have to stop doing the same things. Yo, you need to do something different to get. Different results. Can you praise the Lord? Can you do the Cupid shuffle to Jesus? Is it possible, y'all? Is God doing something different, y'all? Can he allow you to praise the Lord in your special way, y'all? Let's find out. Keep the same. Play, y'all, and get your praise on. heard Corey Mickey's Cupid Shuffle remix. It was a praise break, y'all. And I'm encouraging you to switch partners to enable God to move directly in your life. The Lord is able and he's willing to move directly in your life. Let's hear some doobie pow. Never going to let you go. I'm very keen on this sound right now because your boy should be on the road. Leaving Chicago, y'all, and heading to southern Kentucky, y'all. South of Louisville, y'all. Thank you. 
else along the way But when I'm in need I'm always just a little too late Yeah, having a hard time paying Mr. the bill Yeah, money's already gone before you get it Making it hard to live up But every time I turn around Somehow things always work out Doobie Pow, never gonna let you go. Let's hear some Vincent Bohannon. I love to call him. Y'all, his name is Jesus. Yeshua. Hmm. For this morning, I need everybody, if you love Jesus, will you clap your hands with us? Come on. Only if you love him, only if you love him. Glorify the name of the Lord.
Vincent Bohandy. I love to call him. Let's hear a word from our sponsor. 90 episodes, y'all, of the Impact Zone. I am so grateful to have you on this train, y'all. And do you realize that we're closer to 100 episodes? Y'all, I'm already thanking and praying to the Lord for what needs to be done for 100 episodes, y'all. We are here, but let's celebrate 90 today because you need 90 to get to 100, y'all. DJ Touch, you done done it again. I can't say it enough, but thank you, brother. Enjoy the set. DJ Touch.
Let's hear a word from our sponsor. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Isaac T. Bennett III. I'm originally from Rome, New York, currently residing in Chicago. It is a blessing to be able to be heard in the Utica Rome area. It's a blessing to be heard in the Mohawk Valley. It is a blessing to be heard in Central New York. And it's a blessing to be heard over the internet worldwide. Lord in heaven, we thank you, we praise you, we lift your name on high. Heavenly Father, it is you who gives us life, joy, and I ask right now as I share the message that you have me to say to the listeners, Lord. Let it be empowering. Let it be a blessing to their spirit, Lord, and give them insight, Lord. Let them be able to see within their own lives the adjustments that need to be made to continue to go forward in this journey called life. Father, we just thank you. We give you the honor and glory and praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I am so grateful for 90 episodes of The Impact Zone with Isaac T. Bennett III. I am delighted that we made it this far. I also realize that we have a long way to go, y'all. So let's get into the Word and let's hear what God has to say. I want to talk to you about the importance of completing things so that you can move forward, y'all. Because what happens is, if you don't complete things, y'all, guess what? You're going to have to revisit the thing at hand, y'all. Sometimes those issues are unpleasant. Pleasant. Sometimes you just want to get those things over with, y'all. But regardless of the case, the truth is you do need to revisit those things because once you revisit those things, y'all, you have the opportunity to be complete. And not only that, but you have the opportunity to be free and you can go forward y'all the whole point of me sharing this with you is because we can be stuck in a loop in a funk as some people will call it y'all and all we had to do was to open our heart and mind to god who is more than willing to be involved in our situations He is more than willing to give insight and direction, y'all. So the question isn't, what do I need to get out of this? The question now becomes, Lord, what do you have me to learn and realize this so that I will not have to revisit this again and I can go forward? Well, this is very interesting. We need to turn to Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. I'll be reading from the Amplified. It says, Trust in and rely confidently on the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight and understanding. In all your ways, know and acknowledge and recognize Him, and He will make your paths straight and smooth, removing obstacles that block your way. The Bible says trust. I talked about this before. Trust is a you understood type verb, meaning that you trust. And God is telling you that is because And why God is telling you that is because and why God is telling you that is because he's given you the choice in life as far as the choices that you make and the authority. This is God's will. This is God's 
way of operation, y'all. He doesn't force his will on you. He gives you the opportunity to be aware of what his will is through his word. And then it's you who makes the choice of how you will live your life. Next, let's turn to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Check this out. The Lord does not want to delay as though he were unable to act and is not slow about his promise as some count slowness, but is extraordinary patient towards you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. Y'all, the Lord is waiting on us. This shows evidence <laughs> that God is waiting on us. You know, it's so easy to be stubborn, set in our ways, y'all, in how we do certain things, not even having a clue that that's the very thing that is slowing us down to going forward. Look at your neighbor. If you are next to somebody, give them a loving smile, y'all. Make sure they look you in the eye and then you tell them enough's enough. Tell them don't allow yourself to slow you down. So at this point, if you don't understand why, you need to revisit those things, those issues, those challenges that you had. It's because the Lord is wanting to liberate you. Do you understand that God gave you the opportunity of freedom and liberty through Jesus? But I am telling you in your mind, in your heartbeat, in your thoughts, from head to toe, and I am telling you this because once you revisit it and deal with it, you don't have to go back to that thing again because God broke the chains. He whom the Son has set free is free indeed. So you're wondering why I am having you say this directly. It's because, y'all, you are the one that is taking dominion. You are the one that is taking authority. You are the one that made a decision to make a choice to respond. Y'all, this world is full of challenges. This world is full of people with wrong agendas, y'all. And the truth is, we need God at the forefront of our mind, our heart, and our actions, y'all. Now that you are understanding this in a clear way, you are wondering, well, how do I start? <laughs> you start by having a heart of repentance. You start by talking to God, being sincere and authentic, being different. The Lord has been waiting for this moment for a long time, and all that he has wanted was your love, your sincerity, your authenticity in talking to him, y'all. Let me say this as well. There are many people who have been very mature and experienced in the faith. The Lord wants to refresh and renew and do something within your life too. Trust me, I am getting an inner witness firsthand. Y'all, this is why our lives can get turned upside down for a good reason, y'all. The Lord wants us to move forward in the next chapter. Many of us had ideals of what our life was supposed to be, when in truth, we have no clue what God has for us. And now... The Lord is making it clear that he wants to give you the life that he purposed for you. And that life is greater than what you could ever imagine, y'all. And all you got to do is say yes. <laughs> all you got to do is say yes. Come on. 
That's literally what you have to do in your heart and your approach in talking and praying to God. Stay empowered, be motivated, be encouraged, be the best you you can be. Step out the box and baby, stay in your lane. Be blessed. to thank the family at 95.5 FM, Cassandra Harris Lockwood, Lady T, Brother Ray, Pastor Michael, Sister D, all of the radio hosts, DJs. I want to thank the engineer for making me sound good. I want to make sure that I thank each and every person who is listening. I want to remind you, people are listening worldwide, so I just want to encourage you and realize the great platform we have here on 95.5 FM, The Heat. If you want to message me directly, message me on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube. Ike Talk Media. I-K-E-T-A-L-K Media. All one word. After these episodes, they go immediately up on my YouTube channel. If for any reason there is a technical issue for the show, if for some reason, if it's actually supposed to air and it does not air, or if there's a, some sort of technical issue, please go to my Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube channel. At that point, I'll make an announcement and give you an update as far as what's happening or where to go or when the show will air again. And with that, hey, you have a blessed week, and I will see you next week.
If you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. I make you my Lord and Savior. It was your son Jesus who died for me and for all the sins of the world and rose again on the third day. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and answering my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. If you confess that prayer and believed it in your heart, you are saved. Glory to God. anybody accepted the Lord Jesus Christ and now are saved, whether if it's prior to the show or as a result of the Impact Zone, please message me directly and tell somebody who is a Christian that you are saved. Everyone, if you want to hear more of the Impact Zone with Isaac T. Bennett the Third, you have to go to my YouTube channel, Ike Talk Media. Subscribe, hit the bell notifications, and go there now. Thank you. Love you. Later, y'all. Continue listening to this great platform and be blessed. Go to YouTube, Ike Talk Media, with updates on what's next. Be blessed. Later.